Uh, well, these prescribed, so it's like regular contact, but they put a little tint on my eyes for the sun and things like that. Oh, um, it's just the, it's literally the sun. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, what's it feel like to kind of hear all these kids kind of scream your name, man? I mean, it's good. I'm going go over there and hang with them for a little bit before I go to meetings and stuff, but it, it's pretty cool. Jalen, I wanted to ask you about uh, Coach Wes Welker. Yeah. What's unique about him and his approach to coaching? Um, well, it's a different approach because he actually played and he had success in his league. So you really like taking consideration what he's telling you because he did it before. So it just make it hit home a little, a little better. How would you describe his sort of personality and approach to uh, teaching and connecting with guys? Um, I think he'd just be himself um, in the, out here um, in meetings. He'd be himself. Um, He's going to tell you. He ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing. He's gonna tell you if that was a bad play, that's a bad play. So that's all you can ask for a coach, honestly, is to give his like true opinion. Coach Walker was telling me that Coach McDaniel taught him how to make really good coaching tapes. Uh -huh. And that you can make a tape that kind of tells a story of how a play is installed to how it works. Right. How helpful are those coaching tapes? Um, it's good. It makes it like full circle. Um, especially if you mess up and he show you a play that you get the same look, same look from the defense, and uh, kind of like how it's supposed to be. So you kind of paint that picture in your mind um, next time when you go out there, what to expect and how you're going to treat it. Jalen, when you, you self-scout yourself last season, what do you look at and say, this is the one thing that I want to make sure that I focus on? Honestly, um, my yards have to catch um, something. Um, Something I realized uh, I wasn't that productive at last year, so that's how we pop out on on tape when I look at it. Is that is that more about breaking a tackle, making a move, yeah. balls placed? Um, all that going to consideration, but honestly, I put it upon myself to try to make someone miss and get a feel. What do you remember about the very first time you met Tua? Um, uh, that was a little while ago. Uh, I remember he just quiet. He was like four lockers down from me at uh, Bama, and uh, he kept calling me the wrong name. Uh -huh. He kept calling me Jason. I don't know why. Jalen, one of those reps against Xavier Howard in one on ones, how does that help your game? Um, obviously, I think X is the best corner. I'm not just saying that because um, he's on my team, but look at what he done done in this league. He traveled, go play man to man. So it's always good to, I feel like he's the best, go against the best to, you know, up my game. Um, both from the same same city, so it's a little H Town throwdown. Uh, it, it can it can it can get there, but now nah, we we just out here trying to get better. What have been your impressions of the uh, rookie receivers, Izukama and Sanders in particular? Um, they're great. Um, honestly, they always come in. They're willing to work. Um, they don't have no problems. They got a question they're gonna ask. Um, the older guys might ask me. Um, if I can help, I try to. But normally, I steer them to go on the west because he's gonna give them the exact details of uh, what it is they want them to do. But um, I really like their, their knowledge, them wanting to know more knowledge of the game and coming out here and working every day. What's the one thing that you think you've taken from Tyreek that you think you can incorporate into your game? Um, I think just his uh, approach. I think I have a pretty good approach to, to the game, but his approach every day, um, he takes every day as a, as a new challenge. Uh, he really, like, real deal technician uh, when we're in meetings. And, and things like that. He's he a true professional, so I think I could take that and just learn from him. Well, you see, um, Bobby Anderson said that he was in Carolina with Teddy. Teddy really helped him make the professional or make the transition to the college the pro. I'm wondering what your relationship was like with Teddy and what he brings to the Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, I got to grow um, kind of a relationship with Teddy outside, even though outside of you know the facility um, this summer. Um, just me throwing um, in his neighborhood. You know he's from down here, and just he—he uh, he honestly just a, a great dude um, off the field more than on the field. Um, honestly, what he do for his community down here and how um, productive he is around here is just like inspiring. I, I think so. As far as on the field, I mean he the OG. Um, he gonna see the coverage, tell you what he saw, and give you his true opinions.
is the big old show. This is the 